Here's my drawbench for swaging out the internal diameter of tubing. Um, at one end we've got the tubing clamp and stop. So the tubing itself is clamped on the end with a, this split clamp here and there's a, a there's a ridge on the inside of this clamp which mates with a groove in the tubing to stop it pulling through. That butts up with a couple of metal spacers against a heavy wooden block bolted to the base of the draw bench. The base is just a piece of sort of six inch by two inch batten. At the other end we've got a winch. This is a 1200 pound rating uh, winch. Uh, it's also bolted to the base. I've put a piece of hard MDF to act as a bit of a washer to prevent the bolts from splitting the, the wood. Uh, the winch originally had 10 metres of cable on it but I found that that all bunched up and got knotted when under tension. So I've taken most of that off and there's now just enough to give a, a metres pull um, out of it. Um, the swaging tool is threaded on to let's see if I can take this off to I'll no, show you one of the other ones. <clears throat> There's a ridge on the swaging tool, which is the actual diameter which will end up uh, forming the inside of the pipe, if that makes sense. Uh, the inside is threaded and it goes on to the end of this drawbar which is a piece of high tensile M5 threaded rod. The swaging tools are turned from silver steel rod and are hardened and tempered. The forming end of the tool is on the right here so the, the whole swaging tool is in compression so it doesn't uh, snap if that makes sense. Uh, sorry for my description being a bit haywire. <clears throat> I've got four tools here going from 5.93, 6, 6.03 and 6.08. The tubing starts off at around 5.9 and ends up at around 6.05. The, the tubing contracts slightly after the, the tool passes through, so you have to put a, a larger tool through to end up at the final diameter. Uh, the other end of the drawbar has a U-bolt which attaches to the end of the, uh, the winch. And we just uh, crank the end of that, pull it through and Bob's your uncle. Uh, with some lubrication inside. Um, I'm using tapping fluid because it's a high pressure oil. So uh, I'll set the camera up and uh, you can see it uh, see it going. Just to prove that the tube does actually get bigger, uh, this is a six millimeter hand reamer which will currently not fit into the tube but by the time we've done the swaging, that will slide in easily. Okay, ready to go here. So, first we put some uh, lubricant inside the tubing and around the tool. Hook up the shackle to the drawbar and start cranking. Oh, 
that was relatively easy because I've already done that. Generally I put the put the tool through twice just to make sure it's swaged out to the correct diameter. So we'll move up through the sizes and see how it goes. Okay, this is the 6mm uh, tool, so this should be a bit harder to pull through. Uh, let's see how it goes. This is the first pass. Whoops, what's that? Ah, uh, the wood's moved. Shit. I actually pulled through slightly. Let's keep, uh, keep going. Shit. Floor. It's a bit noisy. I think the, the problem is the is pulling it through the end because the end is clamped with the this split clamp here and the tubing can't expand because of this. So shoving the the swaging plug through that is quite quite stiff. But uh, well, it seems to seem to make it. So let's keep going. We'll put it through a second time. The. 6mm swaging plug is cracked. I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. There's a small crack in the bottom of it. We'll shove it through again anyway. Okay, we're now up to 6.03. Last pass, this is the second pass of the 6.08. The first one went well. And just to prove that the tubing has in fact got bigger, there's a 6mm reamer from before, now slides easily inside it. In fact, if we take the 6.03 swaging plug, that fits. That's a smooth fit inside. So the internal diameter is probably around 6.03, which is ideal. <laughs> 